For the most part, I think most of us could agree that, for NBA superstars, the majority of them keep the same jersey number for most, if not their entire careers. It's for a good reason too. It's part of who they are, and it's how we recognize a lot of our favorite players throughout NBA history. It's part of their brand, and we associate a lot of great players with the number on their jersey. However, there are times when even superstars decide to change their number, whether it's temporarily or permanently. For one reason or another, everyone has a different reason for doing so. How's it going folks? My name's Andy, and today, let's talk about 12 NBA superstars who changed their jersey number. And I'll explain the reasons why. So I'll try to pick out the most intriguing scenarios, as there's clearly way more than just 12 superstars who changed their numbers before. But these cases do stand out. But before we start, this video is sponsored by Otis. Otis is the stock market for culture. They have a website and an app where you can buy and sell shares of culturally relevant pieces. There's a lot of drops available right now, which include a mix of collectors and pop culture items. They've got basketball cards, shoes, retro, old school games, and Pokemon cards too. Some options to choose from include this 1972 mint condition Dr. J card, which has recently skyrocketed in value. Same thing with this old Super Mario Bros. game. It was the first Super Mario Bros. game that became super popular and launched the success of the franchise. You can buy and sell shares of these items as investments, with a chance to own or co-own these items. That's what Otis is about. Sign up for Otis with my link in the description and get your first share free when you fund your account. Number 12, Gilbert Arenas. Agent Zero, as we used to call him, one of the greatest nicknames of all time. Arenas chose the number zero in the first place because that was the number of minutes that scouts believed he'd get in the NBA. I mean, it's a fair assumption, I guess, considering he was a second round pick that very few people believed in. However, after so many incredible seasons, before the 2010-11 season, Arenas decided to change his number to 9. Well, after that whole gun incident in the locker room and his fall from grace, he needed a fresh start. He wanted to put everything behind him as he felt like he was a different person now. The changing of his number was symbolic and it was something he personally needed to do for his own sanity. Number 11, Paul George. Like so many others, George came into the league wearing number 24, cause growing up, Kobe was his favorite player. He even said himself that, he was my Michael Jordan. But in the summer of 2014, George changed it to 13. PG-13 is a catchy nickname, as we all know what it's referencing. When asked about why he chose it, he stated it was mostly a way to revitalize his brand, coming off that gruesome injury and yearning a new start. I feel like I'm at that stage where I'm ready to embrace everything that comes with being one of the young stars in this league. Everyone knows PG-13 is related to television, so the whole thing is being able to enjoy the show and being fun to watch. Number 10, Kyrie Irving. Unlike most other stars, Kyrie's original choice wearing number 2 had no significance whatsoever. It was just a random number he decided to pick. It's also why he had no problem with Colin Sexton wearing number 2 when he joined the Cavs. But when Kyrie got traded to Boston, he changed it to 11. He tweeted out it was in honor of his father, Dredrick Irving. Number 9, Carmelo Anthony. For the first 8 seasons of his career on the Nuggets, Melo wore number 15, but when he got traded to New York, he changed it to 7. While he wished he kept 15, he couldn't wear it because it was retired for Earl Monroe. He chose 7 because of simple math. In high school, he used to wear number 22. In Denver, he wore 15. 22 minus 15 is 7. That's basically it. He would keep that for a long time until his arrival in Portland, where 7 was... Uh, well, it wasn't retired yet, but it was Brandon Roy's number. And nobody wore it since him out of respect. So, Melo chose double zero. At the time, most people didn't even know he was allowed to choose it, since Lillard already had, you know, the singular zero. Apparently, they're different numbers. He explained his reasoning in a very detailed Instagram post, so you can pause the video and read all of it if you want. Number 8, Dwight Howard. 
Ah, good old D12, another nickname that stuck with him for his entire tenure on the Magic, and also in Houston and his first stint in LA. Then, when he joined the Hawks, he changed it to 8, and the story behind it, it was quite sad. The number 8 has a lot of great meanings, and the one that stood out was the new beginning and new life. It's just so ironic that my birthday is in December 8th, and you know, I was supposed to be dead. My mom lost 7 kids, and I was supposed to be the 8th one, and I ended up being the 8th one that lived out of all the ones that passed away. So, it has some significance in my life. Later in his career, he also wore the number 21 and 39, but for simpler reasons. 21 was just 12 backwards, and 3 plus 9 equals 12. He was just playing off his number 12, but he wasn't the superstar he once was, so he felt like he didn't deserve to wear 12 anymore. Number 7, Dennis Rodman. Rodman was known for a lot of things, but one of them were his absurd jersey number choices. He first started off wearing 10, but in his first three years in Chicago, he wore number 91, a ridiculously high number. Most players don't even go past 40. The reason was simple though, 9 plus 1 equals 10. By the way, he was the first player to ever wear number 91. Then, in his short stint with the Lakers, he chose 73, also cause the digits add up to 10, and once again, he was the first player to ever wear that number. When he arrived to Dallas though, he was initially going to choose 69 as a joke, but David Stern stepped in and told him, yeah, let's not do that. So Rodman chose 70 instead. He became the first player in over 40 years to wear the number 70. Certainly a lot of unique choices, but then again, it's Dennis Rodman. His strange jersey numbers aren't even close to being the weirdest thing about him. Number 6, Charles Barkley. Now here's a cool one. In his first 12 seasons, from Philly to Phoenix, he wore the number 34 for 11 of those 12 seasons. He only briefly changed over to 32 in 1991 because he wanted to honor Magic Johnson. At the time, it was discovered Magic contracted HIV and had to retire shortly after. Barkley only wore 32 for that season as a tribute to him, but then when he got traded to Phoenix, he changed it back to 34. Also, years later, when Barkley got traded to Houston, 34 was already taken by Hakeem, so Barkley just chose 4, for no reason in particular. Number 5, Kevin Durant. KD35. We've called him that for such a long time. Durant has worn 35 for basically his entire basketball career. It was in honor of his former AAU coach, Charles Craig, who was murdered at the age of 35. Durant paid a tribute to him. He wore 35 in college, in OKC, and on the Warriors. But when he signed with the Nets, he strangely switched to 7. In an interview with Ball is Life, Kevin Durant says he decided to wear number 7 in Brooklyn because it stands for completion in the Bible. God rested on the seventh day after creating heaven on earth. Clearly the completion of his career is on his mind. In which case, what next? Number 4, Kevin Garnett. Back in the day, KG and Tim Duncan both made 21 an iconic number. The two best power forwards in the league in the early 2000s were going head to head and fans couldn't help but notice their matching numbers. It made their rivalry so much better. By the time KG arrived in Boston, he decided to change it to 5, as 21 was already retired in honor of Bill Sharman. In an interview, he stated the reason for choosing 5 was because it symbolized the team. 5 players on one team, working together with the goal of winning a championship, which is why Garnett came to Boston in the first place, to win as a team not just a one-man show like he's always known. Let's just say, it worked out very well. Later on, he would have a brief stint in Brooklyn, where he switched his number again to two. This time, it was in honor of his former teammate, Malik Seely, who passed away in a car crash in the middle of his NBA career. Seely was a guy who meant a lot to KG, as he helped him a lot early in his NBA career, when KG was a young lad still trying to find his way. They were like family. Fun fact, Seely's number 2 jersey was also retired by the Timberwolves. Number 3, Kobe Bryant. Young Kobe was known for wearing 8, a time where Kobe came into the league, rose into superstardom, and won 3 championships alongside Shaq. 
Veteran Kobe was known for wearing 24, the time where he really started to find himself and come into his own, becoming more mature, more seasoned, and eventually winning another two championships with that number. There's been debates over the years on which Kobe was better, but why did he switch anyway? Well, the number 8 didn't really mean anything to him. He came up with that after adding up all the digits on his jersey from an Adidas training camp, where he wore the number 143. In the 2006-7 season, he changed it to 24. Kobe explained, When I first came in at 8, is really trying to plant your flag sort of thing. I gotta prove that I belong here in this league. I've gotta prove that I'm one of the best in this league. You're going after them. It's non-stop energy and aggressiveness and stuff. Then, 24 is a growth from that. Physical attributes aren't there the way they used to be, but the maturity level is greater. Marriage, kids, start having a broader perspective being one of the older guys on the team now as opposed to being the youngest. Things evolve. Number 2. LeBron James LeBron has worn 23 for the majority of his career, but there was that 4-year stint in Miami where he wore number 6. That was because the Miami Heat actually retired the number 23 in honor of Jordan, despite Jordan never playing for them. Yeah, it was kinda weird. LeBron's decision to wear 23 was, of course, inspired by Jordan as well. But why 6? Seems like a random choice. LeBron stated multiple reasons actually. My second favorite player was Julius Irving, and he wore number 6. My first child was born on October 6. It's my Olympic number, my second child was born in June. Back in 2010, LeBron even went as far as to say that no player should ever wear 23 on any team, out of respect for MJ. But he kinda went back on that, and returned to wearing 23 anyway. LeBron actually wanted to wear number 6 again for the Lakers, but he was told that Nike already printed too many James jerseys with 23 on the back. So they just told him to stick with 23. And at number 1, Michael Jordan. Jordan wore three different numbers in his entire NBA career, but the funny thing is, he didn't want to wear anything but 23. For those who don't know, this image is probably surprising you right now. But yes, MJ did indeed wear number 12 before. It was only for one game though. In 1990, the Bulls were visiting Orlando to play the Magic. However, right before the game started, Jordan's jersey got stolen. This really frustrated him, cause Jordan is known to be quite superstitious and not having the ritual of wearing his number 23 made him quite upset. He was forced to wear a default number 12 jersey, which didn't even have a name on the back. The stadium commentators even made a public announcement that Jordan lost his jersey and was wearing number 12 for the game so the fans know who to look for. At the end, the Magic, who were one of the worst teams in the league, won the game. Jordan never wore number 12 ever again. The second time Jordan wore a different number was right after he came back from his first retirement. In the second half of the 1995 season, he wore 45 the same number he wore while playing minor league baseball for the Birmingham Barons. For a long time, we didn't really know the exact reason why he chose 45 and why he continued to wear it even returning to basketball. He cleared it up in an episode of The Last Dance. I didn't want to wear 23 because I knew my father wasn't there to watch me, and I felt it was a new beginning and 45 was my first number when I was playing in high school. Of course, 45 didn't stay for long. He switched back to 23 shortly after, and even when he came back a second time for the Wizards, he still stuck with his iconic number. I mean, any number besides 23 just looks weird on him. Anyway, that's all folks. Those were 12 NBA superstars who changed their jersey numbers at some point in their careers. Some reasons were perfectly valid, some were out of nowhere and completely random. It's always cool to hear the backstory on these decisions. Anyway, what are your thoughts? If you played for any sports team in your life, what made you pick your number? Thank you all so much for watching, I hope y'all enjoy the video, and as always, I'll see you next time. Peace.